Okay. Okay. The teacher is coming. The teacher is coming. <laughs> Hi, class. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening. Good to see Fine, you. Good evening. you. Everything good. How was your weekend? So so. For me, working teacher. Okay, well that's good. Why so so? Yeah, uh, not not too bad, not too good. It's uh, um, I don't know. It's something that I, you don't maybe because I was here in in at home. That's the good part or the bad part? <laughs> That's the 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 good and the bad. <laughs> oh <complicated>. man! <laughs> how do uh, uh, teacher? How do you how do you uh, listen to me? With I change my oh no, earphones? perfect. I I can hear you now perfectly. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Did anybody else have an interesting weekend? Me uh, yes, care. with the family. <laughs> All right, what did you do? Um, uh, I had a, my kid had competition, the boy in Taekwondo in the world of Colón. Oh, he had competitions. Yes. I heard complications, I'm like, wow. No, <laughs> no competition. Okay. And my daughter in soccer. He started the, the Liga. The league. He started the Liga. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, cool. All right. Did you see that what happened in Mexico in the game? Yeah, Querétaro. But have there did people actually die or not? Because there's a lot of fake news. The, the district attorney says that. There's no dead people, but um, a lot of people are, are saying that it's true. Yeah, I was reading that 17 people have died or 20 people. And... That's uh, bad. It's... That's bad because it's the fake news. Now, now with the with the social media, some people don't respect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. some people don't respect that and they just start putting fake media. I saw a video, a horrible video. Supposedly yeah. a man was recording and he was recording all the dead people in the stadium. Horrible. Yeah. Horrible. I, will, I always say that humans are self-destructive species. We are. We, we are the worst species of animals. Yeah. Because animals, they say that there's only two species in the world that kill for fun. The hippopotamus and the human. Hmm. Because like oh. all the other animals, they will kill you because they are hungry or because they are scared for protection, the instinct. But um, the, the, um, they say that the human, human being and the hippopotamus are the only species that they will kill you for fun. Yeah, a hippopotamus will kill you for no reason. That's sad. But they also protect their, their area, you know? Oh yeah, yeah. of course. The territory. Yes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they will kill you anyway. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But the human. <laughs> yeah. What about the human? It's sad. Yeah, we do for many many reasons, right? Yes. So, All right. So the, let's start. Let's start the lesson. So, man, this Monday was very long. Not. It was it was a very long Monday. I felt it was a very long Monday. Why? And, and very hot the weather. You, oh, yeah, you didn't you didn't feel? Yes, it was hot. Even the fan was hot. Right. Because I was I was in 
I, I was my thinking job. about putting the air conditioning in my car, but man, gas is very expensive. <laughs> yeah, you have to think twice, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. let me share the screen. And tomorrow, the new price. Yeah. Start a new price. And you know, I, I think I think it's really gonna go up. We're we're gonna see the gallon. I think we're gonna see a record in the gallon. Yeah. Because right now Russia is very angry. <laughs> you think it's gonna pass the, the five dollars each gallon? Maybe yes. Um, yeah, I, I think they might. Okay, so uh, but I, I was watching the news that the United States sent people to Venezuela now to mm -hmm. to uh, now they're going to be friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's. Uh, Okay, so listen, uh, do you see my screen? Yes. yes. So remember last week we were doing, um, last week we were doing past modals. Do you remember? Yes. So now we're going to do uh, examples. So it says, choose the answer which best describes what the sentence mean. What these sentences mean, okay? So, man, I shouldn't have invited them. What do you think happened? I invited them. I invited them. It's like, do you know which is the worst food you can eat on a date? What? Broccoli. <laughs> That's no, it's true. They say like when you go on a date for the first time with, you know, that person, you're like, don't eat broccoli mm -hmm. because broccoli gives you a lot of gases. I think beans too. Oh yeah, of course. But, but you know, <laughs> you know, the first date is, is a, is a very, it's a very big lie because you pretend to act the best. The man usually invites the woman to an expensive restaurant the woman only asks for a salad because, oh my God, he's going to think I'm fat, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yes. So now when I go with my wife and she orders a combo, se la grandamos. No. Are you going to eat it? If you're not going to eat it, don't ask for that big combo. <laughs> but in the first date, you know, like, baby, do you want more? No. <laughs> So, so the reason why I'm saying this is because when, like you said, oh, oh I shouldn't have eaten the broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Number two, let me see. Number two, Carla Chavez, can you read number two, please? The complete sentence and why? tell me what. Sure. Number two, that was a secret. You weren't supposed to tell anyone. And the options are, you didn't tell anyone. And the other option, you told someone. I think the correct is you told someone. You told someone. Very good. Thank you. And I love how you read the punctuations. That was good. Oh, All right. Yeah. Hey, so you told someone. You should, that was a secret. All right, cool. So let me see. Number three. Because you have a, a better speakers, a better microphone today, Larry. Can you do number three? Okay, number three. We didn't have to study for the test. As uh, Carlos says, we, the choices are we forgot to study. And number two, we were prepared for the test. And I think the right one is we were prepared for the test. Good. You know, I remember, and this is a good, this is a good trick, teachers. I think Carla and Kalen are the only teachers here. But um, this is a good trick. I remember one time in high school, in the finals, in the very, very finals, the teacher told us, okay, you know what? I will let you copy tomorrow. And everybody was, really? Yes, you can copy tomorrow. So, but with one condition, it has to be one page only front and back. You can take all the notes you want and you can use them in the exam. 
And then we made the teacher, do you promise? And the teacher said, I promise. That night, oh man, I was even doing letters, like copying like every possible, every possible answer. And you know what happened the next day? The next day is I didn't have to look at the notes because I actually remembered everything. I was prepared. And then after the class, the teacher said, okay, how many use the notes? Or a little, and everybody says, no, I didn't use the notes, why? Because I copied everything, so I remembered. And then the teacher said, that's why. If I wouldn't say you copied, then nobody would have studied. <laughs> so that was, that was a very good trick. It was strategic. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember like who hey, I remember this, 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 boom, boom. I, I didn't really look at the notes. Yeah, so that was pretty good. So number four, Nudi, can you do number four, please? You are in mute. Hmm. Sorry. No worries, no okay. worries. Okay, I know Jane didn't like my cooking, but she didn't need to be so rude about it. I think that the, the correct is uh, number one. Jane was rude to me. Yeah, Jane was rude to me. Very good. It's like that, that the new trend right now between Rene and Jay Balvin. Uh, I think it's funny, but I don't think Rene should have been so offensive with his father. Now we need, we need, what's his name? Residente, right? We need Residente to make a song for Bad Bunny. All right, good, we passed. Good. Okay, class, <clears throat> next we have, in this section, participants will learn and practice using verbs that go with problems. Let's look at the lady. I will give you a list of Can verbs that we may use when talking about problems. Yes. Try to find the synonyms for each. Recognizing problems. These verbs are often used to talk about problems. Aggravate a problem. Avoid a problem. Cause a problem. Deal with a problem. Identify a problem. Ignore a problem. Run into a problem. Solve a problem. Look at the following picture. Type two sentences using any of the verbs previously given. Excuse me. Ignore a problem. All right, so. What is aggravate? Aggravate is to make done. it worse. Make the thing worse, right? Yes, it's similar to Spanish, thing. right? Don't aggravate that. Avoid. No, yes, avoid is something you should not do. Yeah. And usually, um, it's in gerund, right? Like, a hey, avoid smoking. Uh, avoid drinking. Mm -hmm. Doctors usually usually say that avoid pan dulce. Imagine if somebody if a doctor tells you you have to avoid pupusas. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm okay with everything except coffee. If a doctor tells me you have to avoid coffee, I think 
I think I will die <laughs> because I will not stop drinking coffee. Okay, let's do knowledge check. It says, read the following sentences. Notice the word or phrases which are in brackets. Replace them using the following verbs. Aggravate, so we understand aggravate, right? Avoid, you understand avoid, correct? Yeah. Yes, teacher, yes. Cause? Yes. yes. Deal with, do you know what deal with is? Yeah, you have to deal with it. Can you give me an example? Um, for example, uh, like, uh, um, uh, currently, I don't know. Uh, if, May I if, start? If you... Sure. So after moving out of my parents' house, I had to deal with my personal finances. Okay. Okay, good. Yes, deal with is something that could be serious. It's like when you're face to face with something. Like for example, Jenny, you have a son, correct? Yes. How old is he? I'm sorry, you're in mute. Seven years old. Seven years old. Imagine, okay, Jenny, just imagine, please. Imagine your son bullied a, a little kid in school today. Mm -hmm. He bullied. Yeah. Or he was bullied. But in this case, imagine he bullied a little kid. Now, your son, he's seven my, years old. My son bullied other kid. Yes, your son was the bully mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, they call you from school. This is an example, okay? Mm -hmm. it's okay. Now, your son is your responsibility, right? Yes. So in this case, that could be another, like, I have to deal with that. So that means I have to fix that. I have to correct that. Now, maybe, of course, you will speak with your son. You will speak with the parents of that other child. That's deal with. Deal with is taking in charge of the problem. Okay. It's like encarar. Exactly, yes. Afrontar, encarar, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tomorrow, I mean, the Salvador is going to have to deal with the, uh, the prices are very high of gasoline. Mm -hmm. We need to deal with the for new price. Yes. And there's another expression like, Mama, but look, uh, I can't do no sé qué, se me quebró. Oh, I'm sorry, deal with it. Mm -hmm. You never heard that expression? Hey, deal with it. Mm -hmm. Imagine, imagine you went and you bought $300 shoes. And now you have no more money for the rest of the month. And you ask your, your spouse, your mother, your father, your friend, hey, can you give me money? I have no money. Why? Because I bought shoes. And how much were the shoes? $300. What? $300. I'm sorry, man. That's your fault. Deal with it. You got to deal with it. So that's an expression. Next, we have identify that's similar in spanish i think we all know that right mm -hmm. what is ignore 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 yes what is run into the same to afrontar no not really going like going no, a run into oh. is, is when you see somebody unexpectedly. Mm. Suddenly, like suddenly. Yeah, oh. no, unexpected. Like, remember I told you last week, I think that one time I saw my ex-girlfriend and uh, I thought I thought she was an ex-student and I said hi to her. Hi, 
hasta después, like, oh, no, that was my ex. Mm -hmm. So what happened was we were in the supermarket. I was doing my thing. She was doing her thing. And accidentally, boom, we ran into each other. It was, it's like it's like when you say in Spanish, hey, ¿no con quien me tope hoy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you found a problem. Yeah, no, but it can be something good or bad because someday I will run yeah, into yeah. Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> but when, when you run, or run into... Spin, like what, at Guatemala City. Oh, yes. He, he was in Guatemala. Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. So run into is like when you, so when, when you, I'm sorry, go ahead. So when you run into a problem, like a, you run into a problem, you find a problem. You, you, like uh, when yeah, you. Yeah, but usually run into is more for people. Uh, run it's into is more for some, people. When something happens unexpectedly. When some when you see someone unexpectedly. Ah, uh, okay. It could be good or bad. Yes. Like one time I ran into uh, Alejandro Sanz mm -hmm. in the airport. Literally, I was with him like for 10 minutes. Okay, so for example, da, 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 would you like to run into your ex someday? No. No? Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> ah, something, you did something bad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I wouldn't like to run into my ex-friend. I had a very, very good friend. He he was my best friend and he did something very bad to me. So I hope I never run into him. You see, that's another expression. I hope I never run into him. Okay, so, so run into- about this, this time you're talking about problem. So run into. No, okay, wait, hold on. Yes, but you see, but it's always a person. Mm -hmm. Run into can be a, a something good or something bad. Because like, I don't think you want to run into your ex-girlfriend. Do you? Oh, I don't, I don't. I ran into my ex-girlfriend, now that's bad. But imagine if I say, man, I ran into Scarlett Johansson. That's good. <laughs> yeah. So it depends. It's up to you if run into was good or bad. Have you ever run into somebody famous? Yeah. Yes. Who, Nuri? Hmm. Marco Antonio Solis. Oh, yeah, I remember you told me that you ran into Marco Antonio Solis. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's, so uh, number one, it says, my friend never does anything about his problem. What do you think it is? Aggravates, ignores. avoids, ignores. Mm -hmm. Ignores. No. Ignores with an S, right? Yes. Yeah. Maria, can I look at that broken bicycle and the problem right away? Identify. identify. Okay, it's identify. Identify. Yes. My sister is never afraid to try to take care of a difficult problem. Deal with. Deal with. Uh, teacher. Yes. Could be a number two. Identify with. Um, um, yes. Yeah, with third person. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Identifies. So my sister is. My sister is never afraid to deal with. Right? Yes.
Jill Dong always makes his problem worse. Aggravates. Aggravates. Uh, then number two, three t-shirt is deal with. Number three. Deal with. Then number three. Yeah. Oh, number three. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hey, why, why did deal I put? With. Thank you. Hey, still in caps. Teacher. What the? Uh. Oh, ya sé qué pasa. Eso es lo malo de esos, de esos teclados inalámbricos. Cuando la batería ya empieza a morir, se tarda el, el, and, el and comando. And it's going to be with S? No. My sister is never afraid to deal with. No, in this case, no. Deals? No, okay. Because the verb here is afraid to um, deal with. Now, if it's like this, my sister deals with yeah. problems, that's different because we're using deal as the main verb. Okay. Teacher. Yes. But in the number two, you, you write identifies the platform uh, Check as a wrong answer with this. Oh, yes. I'm sorry, that's my fault. Maria can look at a broken bicycle, and yes, you're right. I'm sorry, for the first time, the platform was correct. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby always follows the recipe closely to bleh, problems when she cooks. A boy. A boy. To a, you see, now boy. this, this is wrong. It's avoid. Avoid. Ah, you are in the platform. <laughs> Did you guys put avoid? Avoid. Number five. I wrote avoid. Avoid I with that. And actually, us. all this I got all wrong in this exercise. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now I see why you kept on telling me, me about problems. I got too, too, too good. I know. Mining is always. No, I don't think this is not good. My uh, Ming always runs into problems when he tries to fix things. <clears throat> run into is more for people. You run into people. In this case, it should have been Ming always gets into problems. I see why you are telling me that now. Okay, number five is avoid with not a, without an S, but the platform will make it an S. Mm. Let's number see number six is actually get into trouble. Because run into, like I said, is used 90% of the time is used more for people. Carla is, a, is great at completely fixing anything, any kind of problem, at solving, right? Mm -hmm. Al mm -hmm. is the kind of student who always causes. Causes. I have a question. Let me see. Boy. Boy, you need oh, I'm sorry, I put two, two no. G's here. No, the, the number four teacher is in past. What? The correct answer. Aggravate. Teacher, why, why is in past? It's not because correct. Because it says always. It's not correct. Yes, it's not correct. Uh -huh. Oh, man. Jill, oh, when, it, when it's always class, is simple present. 
Mm -hmm. because it's talking about present time. It's talking about always in the morning and the day. So, oh man, this is not correct. I'm sorry for the platform. And this ass. Good platform feature. Okay, the platform is happy, but we are not happy. Mm -hmm. We, uh, we get so confused. Strong. So it's I get confused. Ignore identifier. Okay, look, yes, because here is Maria can look at a broken bicycle and identify. It's always first person. So Maria can look and identify. It's like Maria can go and buy, look and eat. Is simple present. Yeah. Jill Dong always aggravates his problems worse. Hmm. I'm not happy with that. Nope. Okay, models with multiple uses. Hello, let me remind you the model. She's, she's in black again, Larry. It's me? She's in black. Oh. The lady. Really? Look. Yeah, uh, look. Oh, totally black. <laughs> Hello, let me remind she's you there, the look. models may express okay. degrees of certainty. Obligation, suggestion, advice, or opinion. I suggest for you to stay and learn a little bit more. Model auxiliaries express many different meanings or moods. Models can express degrees of certainty. What's that noise? It must be the phone, almost 100% sure. It might be the phone, less than 50% sure. It could be the phone, less than 50% sure. Models can also express obligation, advice, or opinions. You must be on time for the interview. Obligation. It's very cold. You should wear a hat. Advice. Everyone should visit Paris once in their life. Opinion. Use models to write reactions to these situations. You and your friend plan to meet, but your friend never arrived. Number two. You loaned a classmate a lot of money last week, but she still hasn't paid you. Be the phone. Less than 50% sure. Models can also express obligation. It must. Models can express degrees of certainty. What's that noise? It must be the phone. Almost 100% sure. It might be the phone. Less than 50% sure. It could be the phone. Less than 50% sure. Okay, so this is good, look. It must be, it might be, and it could be. It must be, it's like you're positive. You're not 100% sure, but you're 99% sure. Yes? Yeah. Yes. It must be. For example, why is gasoline so expensive? It must be it must the, be. the, war, yeah, the war. war between between Russia and Ukraine. Okay, good. Um, okay, good. Why? Um, why is? Let me see. Let me see. Might be is like you're fifty percent sure, right? Yes. Why do by my house I hear many many sirens? What do you think that that is? Might be accident near in the street. It might be an accident. All right. Mm -hmm. yes. Or it could be maybe COVID patients. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I remember that because I live, I live by a, maybe one block behind 
And when it started COVID, every night you yeah. hear the sirens. Remember that song? It must have been love, but it's over now. Pretty Woman. Don't tell me you have never watched Pretty Woman. I was thinking, that, I was thinking in the same song. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> May rest in peace, Mary Fredrickson. Yeah. yeah, that's a very, very beautiful song. I, I like it's very good lyrics. <laughs> Rock set. She had good music. Remember, she's got the look. What the in the world can make you brown eyed girl so blue? It was very good music. Okay, so you understand now the must, might, and could, right? Yes. 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 Carla. Oh, wait. Yes. Let me ask. No, I'm sorry. Let me ask Elena now. Elena. Okay. Go. See, yes, see. My wife, my wife. I, I, can you help me? I don't know what's wrong with my wife. She she vomits for everything. Anything she eats, she vomits. Anything she smells, she vomits. And she's always dizzy. It's Mike. Uh, she be sick. Okay, okay, she might be. Of course, she's sick. No, but I was expecting a different answer. Pregnant. <laughs> Yeah. Like, hey. Ah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. No, but your answer is correct too. She might be sick, but yes, she's sick. Because... No, but I was expecting like, because you know, the symptoms, you know, like, oh man, you know, if a friend tells me, yeah, if my, if my friend tells me, hey, my girlfriend, she vomits. If she smells something, she vomits. If she eats something, she vomits. I'm like, oh, oh. Dude, she trouble. might be pregnant. She might be in trouble. Yes. <laughs> you should take a test. You should. No, she should take a test. Why? Because she might be pregnant. Oh, oh when you had uh, the studies uh, before, when they say, if you don't smell, if you, mm. if you don't taste. Oh, yeah. It yeah. must, it it must be. COVID. Yeah, it must be. Yeah, oh, imagine yeah. I tell you, man, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm worried because I can't smell anything. And I when I eat, I don't feel the flavor. Yeah. Right. So you tell me you should take it a test. Be. It must be. It must be. It must be COVID. Go take a test. Yeah. Teacher, one question. Yes. Uh, when oh. you say... Uh, that kind of word, like vomit, it's uh, a polite way, or you have to say throw away. Throw up. Away. Throw it away. Or throw up. Excuse me. Yeah, actually, throw up is really not offensive. Okay. Vomit is technically the correct word. Okay. Throw up. Yep. Throw away is like the garbage. Yeah, throw, yeah, away. It's, throw away is another thing. It's throw up. Yes. Okay. All right. So we understand it must be, might be, and could be, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Did you watch the movie Kindergarten Cop with Arnold Schwarzenegger? No. Yes. Remember, but I do. I do. Remember, La Linea Famosa. It's not a tumor. No, okay. Oh. oh, okay. Maybe you don't remember it. But in, there's a part in the movie that he has a headache <laughs> because he was very stressed from all the children. And then one, one student tells him, it must be a tumor. He says, it's not a tumor. <laughs> it's funny. It's De esas líneas inmemorables del cine. All right. So here it says, 
In this lesson, participants will be able to learn and practice using verbs to express degree of certainty. <clears throat> okay, so this is gonna be interesting. Degrees of certainty. This is how sure you are. All right, so let's watch the video. Hi, let's look at the following list. These are verbs of beliefs. They will help you express how certain or not you are about something. Ready? Repeat after me. Assume. Be certain. Be positive. Be sure. Bet. Dubbed. Figure. Guess. Have a hunch. Know for a fact. Suppose. Suspect. Use verbs of beliefs to discuss the following questions. Number one, why do giraffes have long necks? Number two, is there intelligent life in other planets? Assume. Be okay. You understand assume, right? Yes. So in this case, you would say, I assume, and then the compliment. I am positive in the compliment. Let's do I assume. Why do you think United States is wants to deal with Venezuela in this moment? And I assume because they want to um, produce or the petroleum. Yeah, okay, I assume it's because they want to negotiate petroleum. Okay, good. In my case, I am positive. I am positive they want to negotiate petroleum. What is I bet? Could be a bet, right? Because you're guessing. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, ¿quién es el próximo en arena en irse? I bet is... ¿Cómo es que se llama? No, he's the last one. It has to, he, he has to be. He has to be the last one. Pero me imagino que los políticos ahorita están como en apuestas. Who do you think is the next one? Yeah, okay. I bet. I bet. I bet. <laughs> I bet is what's that woman's name? La, that dip. That, well, I don't know. But that, that's um, the expression, I bet. Okay. So Rosa Romero, you say, you mean? Like you said, Presta Barba, Presta, Presta Barba, oh, Cora, what's her name? <laughs> Via Toro. Yeah. <laughs> that's a circus, man. All the politicians, it's a circle. Okay, figure. Figure is like when you do detective. Detective you work. Something. Yes. Hmm, I think I have a rat in my house. I figure I have a rat. Why? Because the bags are very, very small holes. Yes. I have a hunch. From my guts. Yeah. Women, please tell me, what is I have a hunch? Como una corazonada. Yes. Las y los tóxicos siempre have a hunch. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yes. When they, yes. When they... They try to check your phone. Or your yeah, message. it's like, what's wrong with you? Nothing. I just have a hunch. Hunch of what? Nothing. It's a hunch. Uh, uh, All right. <laughs> okay, so I have a hunch. Can you give me an example with I have a hunch, Sonia?
Uh, I have a hunch I passed the level. Okay. Okay, good. But in this case, is you say, I have a hunch that I will pass the level. I have a hunch back that, that I passed the level. Good. Luis Molina. Yes, sir. Can I give you an example? Okay, I'm, this is going to be an example, okay? okay. Imagine you, you have a son, mm -hmm. but your son is... Your son is white, very, very white, yellow hair and blue eyes. Do you have a hunch? Okay, um, I, I have a hunch that uh, that boy uh, is not my son. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> it was an example, but good. Yeah, so it's like, hmm, I have a hunch he's not mine. Why? Because he's white, blue eyes, and yellow hair. Okay, yeah, he's not yours. <laughs> like Soruyo. Like <laughs> So it's the same feeling, teacher, or more. No, like we say I have a hunch is for anything, for everything. Like like what Carla mm -hmm. said, corazonada, man. It's like I have a hunch that about what's happening in the politics right now. I have a hunch that in the next months there's all this new new political group is going to appear with all the X, X Arena, X FMLN, and that's going to be a new group. <laughs> yeah, I have a hunch because the elections are coming in, in two years. So in yeah. one year, va a empezar las promesas de todo mundo again, you know? So because it's very strange that, you know, they're, they're disappearing immediately. Mm -hmm. So I have a hunch that they will, they will make a new group, a new a new political party, which is good. Yeah, but I think the most of people they already identify it. Yes, identify the, the person, each person, right? Yeah, no, of course, no. But I have a hunch that they will they will make a, a team, but I don't think they will. <laughs> they will get far. <laughs> okay, let me see. Next, we have. I suppose. Man, there was a lot of traffic today. What happened to what happened to your boss, Rafael Mayen? He didn't go to work today. I suppose he, um, he, he I suppose he got sick. He got Very sick. Okay, very good. I suppose he got sick. Miguel Franco, you know, um, Larry went to a party yesterday and he was drinking heavily. Very, very big, big like heavy, heavy. It was like four in the morning and he was drinking more. And you know what? He didn't go to work today. What do you think happened? I suppose that Raleigh get a Hanover. Yes, I suppose that Larry got a hangover. <laughs> well, no, I guess I would say I'm positive. <laughs> <laughs> or I bet. Okay. I assume all of them. <laughs> I am certain. I am I'm sure. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> yeah. No problem. Ahora, doubt is, I doubt it was traffic. <laughs> I yeah. All right, okay. Um let me see. Carla Chavez. Do you yeah. think the war in the Ukraine? Do you think not it's not what you want, it's what you think 
Do you think the war with Ukraine and, and Russia is going to finish soon? Soon? Um, I'm not sure. Or so I doubt. Yes, can I say I yes. doubt about it? Okay, good. Or you can say like, I, I wish, I wish it would, I but I doubt it. Or I suspect. Okay. I suspect that it's going to last at least for the next couple of months. You think maybe? Mm. No, yeah. that's too much. <laughs> yeah. No, but you know, it's true. I wish it ends, but I think, yes, yeah, it's going to last maybe one or two more months. Okay, good. That, that's, a, that's a very good expression. I, I doubt, I guess. <clears throat> okay, what is I know for a fact? When, when you know what sometimes or someone is true. Okay, this is like when you're 100% sure maybe. Something is true. I don't know. Maybe I know for a fact that who puts us <laughs> getting fat to the people. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Or, um, yeah, for example, it's like, uh, remember when Mauricio Funes crashed the Ferrari? Ferrari, you know? Yes. That some people say, no, maybe it was him, it was someone else, it was an accident. And some people say, no, man, I know for a fact it was Funes. Why? Why do you know? because I work in that hospital and I was there that day when the security came and yeah, that's an example, okay? I know for a fact. Yes, or like some people say, I know for a fact that, um, that she's pregnant. Yes. What is I suspect? Hmm. When you are not totally sure about it. Yes, you're not really sure about it, but hmm. Yes. It's like I suspect my front door neighbor. I suspect from her. because she has a lot of money. She's always buying like, she has four cars, but that's not her business. Her business, she doesn't sell or, or buy. She just, she has four cars, but those big, big pickups, like um, cartel pickup. Como parecen tanques. She has a rock mine. Yeah. No, and, and all the pickups are like, <laughs> Year 2020, 2021, they're nice. That's how you meant to me. But sometimes, but she never talks and she always listens to. I like, thought it was just an example. <laughs> no, no, it's true. It's true. Sometimes we speak with other neighbors, and some neighbor says, I suspect she's a drug dealer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or, or a coyote or something because she's she she has a lot of money. What's your money? Huh? <laughs> Washing money, I think. Oh yeah, laundry money. Ah, laundry. <laughs> laundry. Laundry machine. Yeah. Which is good. I don't care, but I, I hope that someday the police doesn't come here or or somebody comes here to kill her or something. I'm like, oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me go inside. No, I'm joking. No, I don't know. But I sus uh, many people we suspect from them. Okay, what, what do you think about what happened in, in Mexico? It's awful. What do you think is going to happen to, to Mexican football, to Mexican soccer? Nothing at all. Yeah, I get, I guess. They're gonna suspend uh, some of those things, you know. They're gonna take take them out of the league. Yes. No. I bet you. I bet that maybe they will suspend or they will play many games with 
Um, do you know, like in Argentina, do you know what happened in Argentina? Like, for example, when Boca plays, when Boca plays in their house, in their home, mm -hmm. only Boca, Boca fans can go. Yeah. <clears throat> I know for a fact that uh, the, the president of the league president uh, told about some few hours ago that it's the same, the only the local fans can go to the... Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what I imagined. But that's not fun. Well, yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> yeah. It won't be fun. Yeah. It won't be fun. So only when when they play home, only your fans can go. Yeah. And that's bad because I am an Aguila fan. Me too. I, yeah, imagine if that happens here. I can't watch Aguila then. I, I, cannot, I have to go to San Miguel to watch Aguila. Yeah. And it's too hot. Yeah, no way. <laughs> yeah. Jenny, are you an Aguila fan? Yes. All right. I, I, won. <laughs> I went to the studio. Okay, good. That's good. That's good. Your post better. I mean, uh, before, you know, uh, the, the old times was good but now this um, years uh, the recently time or the recently In present time yeah a few few years yeah you know have no. you noticed have the, you noticed the old, one the thing? old people <laughs> yeah the old people oh yeah good. yeah with the, with the total total was I, have you noticed yeah. one thing have you noticed one thing that soccer players now they don't sweat It's like you watch Fito Celaya playing, right? The game is finished and his hair is está intacto. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. really? And, and <laughs> yeah, I, I remember before, like many years ago, when the game finished, you see the players all sweaty, like, <sighs> yeah. And now you just see them, like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> tired, but you know, their goodies and their hair is still nice. I'm sure that it's Moco de Gorilla. Yes, it has the to be Moco effect. de Gorilla. <laughs> That's the effect of Moco de Gorilla. I am, I am almost positive that Bukele puts Moco de Gorilla. A lot. <laughs> and a lot because, man, that hair is full. <laughs> I'm paying the hair. <laughs> we're, paying, we're paying Moco de Gorilla for his hair. <laughs> I hope. And for his beer, I think I'm very sure he he paints, he dyes. Yeah, his yeah. beard. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, class. I thank you very much. Okay, I hope I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm see pretty ya. sure. I'm pretty okay. sure it's going to rain today. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. No, mm -hmm. imagine, imagine I am, I am Moises Urbina. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, that mean, so that means so, you have a hunch. I have a hunch. So that means it's not going to rain. It's not going to rain. It's not going to happen. All right. Have a great day, class. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye